The Orly airport attacker had ingested both narcotics and alcohol. That's according to a Sunday autopsy carried out on the remains of Ziad Ben Belgasem. Medical analysis revealed not just a blood alcohol level of 0.83 grams per litre, but the presence of both cannabis and cocaine, along with witness statements that would seem to indicate Belgasem's involvement with petty crime, though the Paris prosecutor has stated he had become radicalised as well, explaining his reasons for involving anti-terror investigators. Le premier, euh, bien sûr, le choix de la cible. The first is the choice of target. He didn't randomly attack a soldier on patrol for Operation Sentinel. We know that it corresponds to the general orders given out by terrorist or jihadi groups. The second are the clear signs of radicalization that appeared around the time he spent in prison. A French national aged 39, Belgasem was known to police with nine convictions to his name, specifically involving theft and drug dealing. For now, no link has been established to any accomplices or terror group, and Belgasem's father, brother and cousin have all been released from police custody.